What's, What's up, up guys? guys? And welcome back to Katie Carlson Explores. And today we're exploring an abandoned fire mansion. from Expo Productions and I've also got Daniels with me from my previous videos. If you haven't checked them out already, they're gonna be linked below, so go down there. Uh, we're gonna check out this fire mansion. All we know is quite literally, there was a fire. This is good, you right? Yeah, 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 you right? You good? Yeah. Yeah. Just admiring your eyes, darling. Stop it. Okay guys, and we will catch up with you when we get to the mansion. Let's go. Okay guys, so we've just arrived at the fire mansion. I think it's just a case of getting in and see what we can find. Obviously you can see half the house on the outside, but could be something good in there. All right, go easy. Oh, Jesus. Okay, I don't know if it's like that obvious in camera, but that is like a solid drop. That's where the floor should have been. And that's the drop below it, so. Okay, so just on the right wing of the house, there are some actual functional rooms that haven't seemed to suffer from fire damage. But as you can see, the, uh, the floor's gone through on that side. I might try and get around the intact side and see what's around there. But I think this place is pretty much there's a doorway through there, but I don't know if there's any chance we get across there. This is not as easy as it looks. No. Yeah, guys, this sounds crazy, but this is probably harder for the fact that there's not actually anything to walk on. I know it's like it's all open and stuff, so you're probably thinking, why can't we get around it? But all this rubble, it keeps shuffling every time you sort of stand on it. Shuffles. <laughs> Subtle. 98 stone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, that's where the guys have just gone down, but we're going to try and have a look on the outside and see if there's an easy way in. Yeah, if you climb up that embankment, you'll probably make it through that window. Is that part of next door, is that? No, that's part of that. That was there, wasn't it? That looks cool. Yeah, should we climb up there? In shorts. <laughs> I have really delicate, precious legs. <laughs> we can try it. You go first. Better view. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so you just made it to the side of the property and there's a back door. Which probably won't work. Nope. No, definitely not working. There's something in there. This is so pretty. It is all locked, but nice little find. Jeez, it's a shine. <laughs> 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 oh, it's not slow mo. Have I just been filming in slow mo the whole time? So today, guys, Actually, we're up. exploring. I've been filming in slow mo. <laughs> <laughs> I would be so angry. Ow! 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 Well, it's not. Good job. She's to try and get through these mountain of bramble. Let me just capture my anus. Come on. Yeah, I was capturing capturing my anus going past. So you can watch it later. Yeah. <laughs> right there. Yeah, good. So we've got a lampshade remaining. There's the upstairs bedroom. You can do it. <laughs> That's me, by the way. <laughs> I'm gonna get my phone off, though. Yeet. Okay, so jump for that one, though. And. Guys, step really carefully because if the ceiling falls, we're all gonna die. And it's not even a joke, guys. We're gonna actually die. So there's the stairway. Do you know what? Right, for a place that got burnt down, there is a lot of like fire alert. Yeah, there is actually. And like danger and all of this fire action. Yeah. Clearly, it didn't Probably go. Probably saved well. everyone's lives. It all, a couple of concerns have been brought to my attention regarding general hygiene and cleanliness of the and stuff. Oh, oh, so they were really, really messy. The top level of this wow. Yeah. Right, well, I'm going to move away from under this roof just in case it goes down. Come out the way. Go well, yeah, go up. Yeah, go up. Just don't, don't stand in this main corridor. Probably not a good idea. You get a shot from just the top of the stairs and then and then don't go all the way up. Because under here, the rafter looks all right, the main rafter, but to the left of it, it looks a bit funny. Yeah, what about the roof then? Hello, honey. Hello. <laughs> right, whilst Dan's going up there, I'm going to have a little flick around here. Oh, I'll tell you what, this is a bit sketchy, isn't it? Yep. 
Oh, there's a third floor, isn't there? There is a third floor, which I'm not going in. Let's, let's, let's have a look. And then you see through oh. here will be all the corridors and stuff, but that floor has completely come down. There's no way we're getting through there. That's really bent. There was the roof. So this must have been a very small section of the stairs. Probably the office. Like the office. This side obviously didn't suffer nowhere near as badly. Hey, look at the paint. That's interesting. Some very interesting colours. I wouldn't personally have this in my own house, but oh, yay. Hi, guys. Oh, God. We're all sweating heavily, so matching. <laughs> wow. Okay, so there's the bathroom. That would have been up there where Elliot and Dan are. Falling through completely. Okay, there's the bathroom. Completely fallen through. Sink, basin, smash. Toilet is full of, like, obviously parts of the roof. No, what's in here? Oh. All right, now I've got a light. We can actually see properly. Oh. Um, kitchenette, I'm thinking. Little staff room. Even though we call this fire mansion, I do know for a fact this was a, a staff facility, but I'm not sure for what. I'm thinking a care home because the size of it, but I haven't got a clue. Oh wow, you're right. Hey, where's Eddie? Um, he's upstairs. There's some really cool rooms up here. I mean, obviously these are the bedrooms. You've got room 16 here. Yeah. Just the whole floor has completely come down. Really? It's the GoPro through it, so you can see. But literally, like it's from here, it's crazy because these are all the like corridors yeah. and bathrooms, and, and they're pretty intact for. Yeah, and you're obviously doing the outside bit. I was just saying to these guys, the viewers, that I don't think this was a house. This has got to be a staff facility because obviously the signs saying about the staff blocks been dirty and there've been loads of complaints. So I was going to say it's a little bit dodgy to have so much fire exits and all these fire hazards, and then every single room has more or less got like a bathroom basin in it. But it's yeah. not like like this room over here has got like kids stuff in it. Yeah. No, this has got, I, I think it's probably a care home, you know? I feel like it, this is a care home, yeah. Yeah, I think it's gotta be. Oh, That's crazy, oh, look at that though. The actual bathroom is downstairs. What's the bathroom? Because um, this, this definitely isn't a normal house. No, at least. no, it's too big to be a, just a house. It's big, but it's very small at the same time. It's yeah, like, I think there's two. The thing is, it's a massive place, but too many rooms. I have no idea. Well, guys, what in, I would do here, is I will I will get some history on this place, and I'm just going to link it down below because I've got a feeling this is going to be a care home. It's some sort of care sector, and uh, and also look the numbers on the doors. You wouldn't have that in a house. You wouldn't number your house doors, would you? Like 14, 12, 11. You wouldn't do that. That's not normal. Ow. You good? Okay guys, and that was the fire mansion. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. All of these guys think down below. <laughs> <laughs> and all of these guys links will be down below, so please be sure to go and check them out. And if you haven't already, turn on the notification bell because that's when you get notifications when I've next posted. Thank you so much guys, stay tuned and I'll catch up with you shortly. Bye!